My name is Jumana Imad Musa Ahmed Al Bahri, um, and I'm a student here at UCSD. You condemn Hamas. Would I condemn Hamas? As a terrorist or a genocidal organization. Are you asking me to put myself on a cross? If I say something, I'm sure that I will be arrested for reasons of homeland security. Hey, I'll put it to you this way. I'm a Jew. The head of Hezbollah has said that he hopes that we will gather in Israel so he doesn't have to hunt us down globally. For it or against it? For it. The chilling exchange between David Horowitz and the Muslim student at the University of California is not an aberration. It occurred during Israel Apartheid Week, a protest sponsored by the Muslim Students Association. Israel Apartheid Week is being held on campuses across the United States. It is designed to portray Israel as a killer of innocent children, as a state that occupies Palestine and oppresses its people, as a state that does not deserve to exist. The truth of the matter is, your days are numbered. We will fight you, we will fight you until we are either martyred or until we are victorious. That's how we look at it. The Muslim Students Association is an arm of the Muslim Brotherhood. The Brotherhood is also the creator of Hamas, the terrorist party that rules Gaza. The founder of Hamas has said, there is no place for you Jews among us, and you have no future among the nations of the world. You are headed to annihilation. To annihilate the Jews, the armies of Hamas have fired thousands of rockets into unarmed Israeli towns. Together with Hezbollah, they have amassed tens of thousands of rockets on Israel's northern and southern borders. The weapons are supplied by Syria and Iran. The Iranian dictator has threatened to wipe Israel and America off the face of the earth. In America, the allies of Hezbollah and Hamas have organized a national campaign against the Jewish state. The campaign is designed to isolate and demonize Israel. A parallel campaign has been organized to boycott Israel's goods. The goal of these campaigns is to weaken Israel and soften it up for the kill. Purge your religious or your political circle from any effects of Zionism and the world will be a better place for all of us. Both these campaigns have been launched from American college campuses. To advance their goal of destroying the Jewish state, the Muslim Students Association has created a wall of lies. The wall is supposed to symbolize Israeli apartheid, although Israel is the most tolerant and inclusive society in the Middle East. This map appeared on the apartheid wall. It was erected on Library Walk in the center of the University of California, San Diego campus. It was built with $8,000 in funds provided by the student government. The first panel purports to represent the state of Palestine in 1946. This is a lie. There was no such state in 1946, or ever. The area on this map, which is falsely labeled Palestine, was actually only one-fifth of the area called the Palestine Mandate. It had been part of the Turkish Empire for 400 years before the Turks were defeated in World War I. The British victors administered the mandate and promised it to the Jews. The Turks are not Arabs. There never was an Arab state or country called Palestine. But in 1922, the British reneged on their promise. They set aside 80% of the mandate to create the state of Jordan. The map on the apartheid wall shows only the remaining fifth, most of which was an arid desert. The name Palestine is not Arabic. It is a Roman name for the region around the Jordan River. It means Philistine. The Philistines were not Arabs. From the river to the sea, Palestine!
Palestine will be free! The allies of Hamas on American college campuses chant, from the river to the sea. What they mean is the obliteration of the Jewish state from the Jordan River to the Mediterranean Sea. Palestine will be free! Palestine will be free! From the river to the sea! From the river to the sea! ومشروع نهائي فلسطين كل فلسطين كان اعترف للعدو الإسرائيلي. Jordan occupies four fifths of the original Palestine mandate. It is ruled by a Hashemite minority. But there is no movement in the Middle East or on American campuses to liberate the Palestinian Arabs of Jordan from Hashemite rule. There is only the movement to push the Jews into the sea. The second map on the apartheid wall shows the UN partition plan. This plan divided the remaining portion of the original mandate equally between the Arabs and the Jews. But the Arab states rejected the UN's offer. They did not want a state on the West Bank of the Jordan and in Gaza. They did not want a Palestinian state. They wanted to push the Jews into the sea. These are the precise words of the founder of the Muslim Brotherhood, Hassan al-Banna. In 1948, he said this. If the Jewish state becomes a fact, the Arabs will drive the Jews who live in their midst into the sea. Hassan al-Banna was a supporter of Hitler. The Muslim Brotherhood translated Mein Kampf into Arabic in the 1930s. The Brotherhood is the creator of both Hamas and the Muslim Students Association, which are leaders of the campaign to destroy the Jewish state. The war against the Jews has continued for 60 years. It began as an Arab war. It is now a Muslim war. The Hamas Charter says, Israel will exist and will continue to exist until Islam will obliterate it, just as it has obliterated others before it. Imam Yosef al Qaradawi the spiritual leader of the Muslim Brotherhood said this, throughout history, Allah has imposed upon the Jews people who would punish them for their corruption. The last punishment was carried out by Hitler by means of all the things he did to them. Even though they exaggerated this issue, he managed to put them in their place. This was divine punishment for them, Allah willing, the next time will be at the hands of the believers. In other words, Islam will finish the job that Hitler started. Palestine! From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free! Israel, Israel, you can hide! We charge you with genocide! What is going on here is a globally organized, throughout the Muslim world, plan to finish the job that Hitler started. And unlike the Nazis, who hid their final solution, the Muslim radicals shouted from the rooftops. To combat this evil, the David Horowitz Freedom Center has launched a campaign on American college campuses. Its purpose is to confront the Israel Apartheid Weeks and the hate groups behind it. The center has created a Palestinian wall of lies to refute the blatant falsehoods of Israel Apartheid Week and to expose the genocidal agendas of the Muslim Brotherhood, Hamas, and of the Muslim Students Association. The hour is late, and we need your help.